Okay, so let us return to the example of subspace topology and now we will consider a slightly more complicated example. So, let x be r with the standard topology. So, this is example 4. So, this is lecture 5. And uh, consider the inclusion map. So, I from R to R2, which sends x to x comma 0. So, we are just embedding the real line into R2 as the x axis. So, so this 0, so point x is going to x comma 0. So, let S denote the standard topology on R on the real line yeah. and let tau denote the standard topology on R2. Okay. So, let y be equal to image of i. So, y is simply the x axis and uh, we can put, so we can identify the real line with y and we can put the subspace topology on y. So then, so what this means is, so uh, tau sub y is equal to uh, u intersection r, where u is an open subset in tau. So here we can take any open subset. And we can intersect it with the x axis. So, which means over here we will get the union of these intervals. And this map is I. So, this u intersection r we can also view it as I inverse of u. Okay. So, uh, the claim is, so the claim, we claim that we claim that S and this tau sub y are equal. So, these are the same topologies on the real line. So, let us prove this. So, instead of proving this directly, we will prove uh, two lemmas which will which will be helpful and they will be helpful in other contexts as well. So, uh, lemma. So, let x be a set and suppose Uh, there are two topologies. On X, say tau one and tau two. So let B one, let B i, be a basis for tau i. I equal to one comma two. So we are given two topologies on X. Uh, exactly as in this previous example, we have two topologies S 
one is s and the other which is the standard topology and the other is tau y which is coming as the subspace topology from the standard topology on R2. And uh, we have B1 is a basis for tau1 and B2 is a basis for tau2 and if B1 is contained in tau2 then tau1 is contained. So, if the basis for tau1 is contained in tau2 then all of tau1 is contained in tau2 that is the content of this lemma. So, let us prove this. So, let u be, so our aim, okay, a subset of x which is open in tau 1 or which is simply an element of tau 1. And so, we will show that u is open in tau 2. So, since B1 is a basis for tau 1, uh, for every x in U, there exists a W sub x which is in B1 such that this W sub x is also a subset of U. So, as a result, uh, Thus, we may write, so we can write u as the union of, uh, okay, so let i be the collection of such w sub x for every x in u. So, for every x in u, we choose one such w x and we take i to be the collection of all these w x's. So, then clearly u is equal to the union over these elements of i's over the elements of i this w sub x. So, uh, this inclusion is clear as each w sub x is contained in u and therefore the arbitrary union is contained in u and this inclusion is clear because given any x in u it is in w x right okay so now uh, since each w x is in b1 and b1 is a subset of tau 2 this implies that w x is also in tau 2 that is w x is open and since tau 2 is a topology and an arbitrary union of open sets is open. So, since this is by condition 3 in the definition of topology. arbitrary unions of open sets or simply unions of open sets are open. So, this implies that this union over i w sub x this is also in tau which implies that u is in tau tau 2. Therefore, we have proved that given any u in tau 1, it is in tau 2. So, thus given any u in tau 1, u belongs to tau 2. This implies that tau 1 is contained, which completes the proof of the lemma. So, as a corollary, if with the same notation as in the lemma, if B1 is contained in tau 2 and B2 is contained in tau 1, then we get 
tau one is equal to tau two. Uh, so we will use this corollary, and we need one more lemma, the proof of which is easy and left as an exercise. Let x be a set with a topology tau. Let y containing x be a subset. And let tau sub y denote the subspace to body. So, if B is a basis for tau, then then there is an obvious candidate for a basis for y. B sub y is defined to be u intersection y, where u belongs to B is a basis for tau sub y. And the proof left as an exercise. So, using these two lemmas, this or more precisely this corollary and this lemma, we will show that. So, proposition we will prove our claim that. Uh, let s and tau sub y be as described above then s is equal to tau sub y so recall what we are doing s is the standard topology on the real line and tau sub y is the topology on the real line defined as follows we can embed the real line into r2 as the x axis and we can take the subspace topology on the x axis from the standard topology on R2. And we have to show that both these topologies are equal. So, proof. So, uh, so recall that. Tau is the standard topology on R2, and this had as basis the collection S epsilon A, comma B is equal to those points x comma y in R2 such that absolute value of a minus x is less than epsilon and absolute value of b minus y is less than epsilon. So, uh, then b sub y defined over here is the in, is equal to the intersection intersected y for s epsilon a comma b in b uh, so so on the other hand uh, this is a basis for the subspace topology on the real line. So, we have the real line this is map i So, on the other hand, let C 
be the collection of b epsilon x. Uh, so here x belongs to R and epsilon is positive union the empty set so here this b epsilon x is contained in R and recall that b epsilon x is the interval x minus epsilon comma x plus epsilon this is a subset of the real line yeah. so then c is a basis for the st standard topology on R, which is S. Okay, so uh, we want to show S is equal to tau y, and by the corolla corollary. It is enough to show that b sub y is equal to c. So, c is a basis for s and b sub y is a basis for tau sub y. We want to show that s is equal to tau sub y and therefore, we will apply this corollary. So, let us check that b sub y is indeed equal to c. So, let us look at what the elements of b sub y look like. So, given uh, if a comma b is here, then it may happen that s epsilon intersected with y, y is the x axis, this is s epsilon a comma b it may happen that s epsilon a comma b intersected with y is the empty set yeah that's one possibility the other possibility is a comma b is here and then s epsilon intersected with the y axis is going to be b epsilon yeah so that's the only there, there are only two possibilities yeah so note that b sub y okay or rather note that for every s epsilon a comma b in b sub y either intersected y is the empty set or s epsilon a comma b intersected with y is exactly b epsilon a yeah continue now so we are identifying y we are identifying the x axis with uh, we are identifying the x axis with the real line using this embedding i and because of that so this s epsilon a comma b intersected with y is going to be identified with this b epsilon a over here. So, uh, therefore, so thus it is clear that this b sub y is contained in this collection c, yeah. because c contains b epsilon x for all x in r. And conversely, if we take some element b epsilon x in C, then we can take, uh, we have x, we can take the epsilon square around x with x comma 0. So, what I am saying is, s epsilon x comma 0 intersected with y is equal to b epsilon x. Yeah. So, thus c is also 
And of course, uh, the empty set is contained in B epsilon because we can just take some S epsilon over here and uh, when we intersect it Y, we get the empty set. So, every element, the only elements of C is either the empty set which is contains B, y, B sub Y or it is of the type B epsilon X which we have just shown is contained in B sub Y. So, therefore, we have proved both uh, inclusions which implies that thus this both these bases are equal uh, which implies that the subspace topology is equal to the st standard topology or not. Uh, so, thus we have defined the, so in the same way, so let me just, so in the same way, in the same way, we may embed R2 into Rn right as a hyperplane. So, I can take x 1, x 2 and this maps to x 1, x 2, 0 and in the same way one can show that and one may show that the standard topology in R 2 is the same as the subspace topology so let's call this i on i of r2 so i is an inclusion so using i we can identify r2 with its image and uh, using that identification we can take the subspace topology on i of r2 and transfer it to r2 so, uh, and then R2 now has two topologies and both these topologies are the same. Okay. Uh, so, we have seen the subspace topology and next we want to define product topology. So, this ends, so this ends our discussion on subspace topology. So, the next thing we want to define is a topology on the product of two sets each of which have a topology. Uh, okay. So, but before that we need a, so, okay. So, next let me just write down. Okay. Suppose, x 1 and x 2 are two topological spaces. then we next want to define the topology on x1 cross x2. So, there is a natural way to do this and uh, let us see how to do it. So, let us first prove a lemma. Let x and y be topological spaces and let B contained in the power set of x cross y be the collection of subsets defined as So, B is defined to be U cross V, where U is in the topology on X, is open in the topology on X and V is open in the topology on Y. So, when we say X and Y are topological spaces, it means that 
there are topologies tau which we denote tau sub x and tau sub y. So this is the definition of B and what we want to show is, so the content of the lemma is then B satisfies the two conditions in the proposition uh, on generating topologies. So I am referring to this proposition here, oops that was in the previous lecture sorry. So in the previous lecture we uh, proved this proposition, so let me just recall here. Yeah. So recall the two conditions, so let us prove. Recall the two conditions. we needed to check were the following. Uh, A, when we take the union of all w in B, then we get the entire set. So, in this case that is x cross y and the second condition is suppose w1 and w2 are in B and x is an element in the intersection, then there is a w in B such that x is in w and w is contained in w1 intersection w2. So, if these two conditions were satisfied, then we saw that this collection B it defined a topology which we denoted tau sub b. Yeah. So, let us just check that these two conditions are going to be satisfied. So, proof, oops, sorry. So, first note that, so uh, since x belongs to tau sub x and y belongs to tau sub y, this implies from the definition of b, x cross y belongs to b. Yeah. So, therefore, clearly, this union of this w, w, it contains x cross y and of course, it is a subset of x cross y. So, thus, uh, therefore, this thing is actually equal to x cross y. So, this proves A. This proves that A is indeed true. Uh, Let us check the second condition. So, for B, So, we are given w1 and w2 in B. So, w1 comma w2 are in B. This implies from the definition of B, recall that B is defined as above. So, w1 is equal to u1 cross v1, where u1 and okay, let me just write and w2 is equal to u2 cross v2, where u i is are in tau x and v i are in tau y. Okay. So, let us take a point. So, a point in w1 intersection w2. So, it looks like A comma B, which is there in U1 intersection, sorry, cross V1 intersection U2 cross V2. Now, this implies that A belongs to U1 in and U2, and B belongs to V1 and V2, which in turn implies that A belongs to U1 intersection U2 and B belongs to V1 intersection V2. Now, since uh, tau x and tau y are topologies, note that U1 intersection U2 is in tau x 
and v1 intersection v2 is in tau y right so thus we have so we have a comma b this is in u1 intersection v u2 cross v1 intersection v2 which is an element of b right because this is in tau x and this is in tau y and this is in turn contained in u i ok ok this is contained in u i cross v i for i equal to 1 comma 2 yeah in other words a comma b is contained in u 1 intersection u 2 cross v 1 intersection v 2 which is contained in u 1 intersection u 1 cross but this is w 1 and this is w 2 right and so therefore we can take this set as w so given any a comma b in the intersection we have found a w in b says that a comma b is in w and w is contained in the intersection so this proves that b satisfies the two conditions to generate a topology and so it gen generates a topology uh, which we denote tau sub b which has b as a basis. So, uh, this topology, so this, this ends the proof of uh, this lemma, so this completes the proof of the lemma. Right? And let us just define product topology. let x and y be topological spaces then the topology defined on x cross y in the previous lemma is called the product topology on x cross y. So, a basis for this topology is given by sets u cross v where u belongs to tau x and v belongs to tau y. So, we will end this lecture here.